ever since we traded for Deshaun Jackson, the talk of the Eagles taking a wide receiver early in this draft has gone almost silent. Almost silent. But I'm telling you this right now. I think it's very, very possible the Eagles still go wide receiver early in this draft. And if so, who becomes the most likely Eagle to get traded on draft day? Yo, the cowboy, Mr. McLean. You Americans are all alike. But this time, John Wayne doesn't walk into the sunset with Grace Kelly. Scary Cooper, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Trails, Hans. Dallas still stinks. You everybody do. Came thing back here, and I hope everybody's having a wonderful day, a great start to your week. Now, before we get to the meat and potatoes of this video, we got a few minor moves we got to talk about that the Eagles have made within the last 24 hours. Now, today, the Eagles signed Greg Ward Jr. You remember him? He was on the Eagles practice squad the year they went to the Super Bowl. Um, he's back. He was playing in that AFL stink league, whatever the hell it was called. I, I don't know. I think he played for San Antonio. He did good. The Eagles are bringing him back, and I have no problem with this. I think he's a guy who's young 23 years old um, he's shown some talent and I think at the very least if he's back on our practice squad that's good so I like this move now they also bring wide receiver Charles Johnson he was also in the AFL stink league um, to me you know you'll probably remember him better he was with the Vikings for a while I think he's like 29 30 maybe even 31 years old a journeyman now he's just a guy to come in and compete I don't see anything big on it okay and then last night they signed a quarterback that I really don't know much about by the name of Lewis Perez um, he was in that stink league too and uh, we'll see what he can do I really don't know too much about him other than he was in that AF, A AAF league or whatever it's called so that's what the Eagles have done today um, in terms of moves and bringing guys in. I think, you know, that they're all depth moves and they're all roster moves for the preseason. And I don't expect Charles Johnson to be on the team when the season starts. I don't even know if I expect Perez to be on, on a practice squad when it starts. Who knows? Who knows? I think Greg Ward Jr. probably, at the very least, will stay on that practice squad all year long. Now, as many of you guys know, the draft is a few weeks away, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And I will be streaming live for all of you guys who have been asking me. Of course, I will be streaming the draft. Um, we'll also be streaming all the Sixers playoff games. So come hang out with me for those kind of things. It's going to be a busy few weeks. I cannot wait. Now, the Eagles, as they're getting ready for this draft, they're starting to bring in a lot of draft prospects. Today, Josh Jacobs, the running back from Alabama, is visiting the Eagles. Now, by all the accounts and all the reports, all offseason, the Eagles have viewed Josh Jacobs as the number one running back in this draft. That's what all the reports have said, and I believe it. Me personally, there are guys I like better than Josh Jacobs. I like Daryl Henderson. I like Miles Sanders. But I do think Josh Jacobs could be a very good back in this league, and if that's the way the Eagles choose to go, I have no problem with it. I like Josh Jacobs. I will say this. I would not be surprised if you see the Eagles take Josh Jacobs with their first pick. Now, historically, the Eagles do not draft running backs in the first round. We know this. But I think an even more likely scenario than taking him at 25 would be the Eagles trading back early into the second round, picking up a third round pick, and then taking Jacobs with their first pick if they expect him to fall. I could see that as being a likely scenario. But when it comes to the draft and it comes to the first round, I still think most likely the Eagles are trading up. I think they're going to try to trade up in this draft into the first round. I think they're going to try to go all the way up somewhere around 14, 13, 16. That's where I think they're shooting for. Um, but we'll see. The Detroit Lions 
have been reported to be trying to trade back. Now, they're in the top 10. I think it would cost the Eagles too much to go up that high. Um, another team that reportedly is trying to trade back is the Seattle Seahawks. And I think they're at 21. Maybe you have a scenario where the Eagles want to go up four spots and take somebody that's still on the board. This is a scenario I could see. Whatever it is, I think the Eagles... At, at the end of the day, we'll trade up in this draft. That's that's my prediction, anyways. You know, and and to do that, they got to study the guys. They got to know which guys they like, and they've been bringing in a lot of guys. Now, I'm seeing a pattern kind of emerge into who the Eagles have been bringing in for visits. Now, I will say this about bringing in draft prospects: sometimes you bring in draft prospects to throw other teams off. The best example of this that I can give you is when the Eagles drafted Fletcher Cox. They brought Don Terry Poe for a visit, and they made a huge deal about how great Don Terry Poe was and all this kind of stuff. Even though everybody knew Fletcher Cox kind of fit their system better, they bring in Don Terry Poe, made a huge deal about it. He winds up going a pick or two earlier than Fletcher Cox, and the Eagles get their guy. So teams do do this. They will bring in guys just to throw people off. And this happens all the time. Now, this year, what we're seeing from the Eagles is they're bringing in a lot of defensive linemen. They brought in Christian Wilkinson the other day. They're bringing in Ed Oliver. He's scheduled for a visit. So they are bringing in a lot of defensive linemen. They're also bringing in a lot of wide receivers. And Kill Harry, he is coming in for a visit. Paris Campbell has been in for a visit. And I do believe that the Eagles are looking at the defensive line and at wide receiver early in this draft. Now, we've kind of gotten away from the wide receiver position, right? We, we, we kind of forgot about it after they got Deshaun Jackson. But this could be where they go real early in the draft. And when I say early, I'm talking about one of their top three picks. I would not be surprised if you see them trade up for a Josh Sweat or somebody like that in the draft. And then in the second round, come right back with a wide receiver. Um, when you think about wide receiver and you think about, you know, what they have there, they have, uh, uh, you know, they have Alshon. He's what, 29 right now? You have Deshaun. He's 32. Then you have Nelson Aguilar. And he is in the last year of his contract. He's going to make $9 million, which I don't think he's worth making $9 million. But what are the chances they sign him to an extension? I don't know. So they may be looking to replace him next year, and they may look at one of these young wide receivers. They also do have Mac Hollins, who I think fits the slot better than he fits the outside. Maybe you do draft a Marquise Brown early in the draft. Even, even Peter King has talked about how the Eagles should take Hollywood Brown with the first pick in the draft. And it kind of makes some sense. I mean, you got Deshaun Jackson, 32 years old. You got uh, Alshon Jeffrey, I believe he's 29 years old. And you got Nelson Aguilar in the last year of his contract, who I do not believe is going to be back with the Eagles after this year. So it would make some sense to go ahead and draft a Hollywood Brown, a Paris Campbell. Matter of fact, Matter of fact, when I look at what the Eagles are going to do in the first two of the first three picks, I think you're going to see a defensive lineman and you're going to see a wide receiver. I mean, they're even bringing in Jalen Ferguson for a visit. They are focused on the defensive line and the wide receiver, and I don't believe this is to throw teams off at all. I think they're going to go to both of those spots early in this draft. Now, it's interesting to me because if they do this, if they take a Hollywood Brown, if they take a Paris Campbell early, I think this makes Nelson Aguilar expendable. And I start thinking about what player on this team, what player on this team is most likely to get traded on draft day, you know? And I start thinking about it. There's three names that I come up with. Um, the most likely guy, in my opinion, to get traded is Jalen Mills. I think Jalen Mills could get traded on draft day. I actually think there's a real possibility this could happen. They like Avante Maddox. They got Ronald Darby back. And I think that Russell Douglas showed enough last year that you can't just get rid of him. You know, I definitely think that Jalen Mills, in my opinion, is the number one possibility of a guy to get traded. You know, Russell Douglas is a possibility too. No doubt about it. But the Eagles, I think, would make a mistake getting rid of Russell Douglas. I think he should be at safety. Nobody listens to me. I'm telling you, the guy is a safety. But I want Russell Douglas on this team, but he is also a possibility. And then an outside shot of a possibility of a guy to get traded is Nelson Aguilar. I don't believe he's coming back 
I don't. He's making $9 million this year. He is not worth $9 million. I was surprised they didn't even try to renegotiate with him. If the Eagles go draft a Hollywood Brown, a, you know, Paris Campbell, somebody like that, I think they would consider trading Nelson Aguilar. I really, really do. Um, you know, I also like Matt Collins in the slot. I'm going to say I've said I think he fits the slot better than on the outside. Uh, you know, they could do this. But, you know, I think that if they do go wide receiver early, I think, I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm saying there is a possibility that they would get Aguilar and move him because they would get some value for him. He is making $9 million, so that's got to be good to get rid of that cap money. And then you get a guy like Paris Campbell or somebody like that. And I think I think you can find somebody to fill in that slot role. And it, it's going to be interesting, no doubt about it. But, you know, when I look at who could get traded off this team, those are really the, my top three guys. So Jalen Mills, number one. I think he's the most likely to get traded during the draft. Rosal Douglas would be number two. And then my outside shot, even though I don't think it's likely, I think it wouldn't surprise me if Aguilar gets traded during the draft if, if the Eagles get a wide receiver early. A Hollywood Brown, a Paris Campbell, you know, maybe a Nikhil Harry, somebody like that. Um, it's possible. Uh, but, I mean, we're, we're going to find out. We're going to see. But the Eagles, man, they are busy. They are at work bringing in prospects. And today, like I said, it's um, it's Josh Jacobs, who I think the Eagles legitimately, legitimately like. So, basically, tell me what you think. You know, do you, who do you think could get traded in this scenario? Do you think... Uh, Nelson Aguilar could possibly be considered for trade if they took like a Hollywood Brown or somebody like that. What about, I know a lot of people think Roswell Douglas is the guy. I don't want him gone. I don't want him gone. I, I would rather get rid of Jalen Mills. Um, he's my number one guy that I think gets moved during this draft. But let me know what you think. I'm dying to know. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.